Hello beautiful people, welcome to this week's episode. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I sure have. I've been up to loads of things as you saw last week, but it continues. Anyway, stay tuned for this week's episode. So I met this awesome guy, John from the Mountain Goats. Uh, I wanna say in April, um, we met in Australia when I was working with Max Jury. Um, and he came over to London to do a show at Shepherd's Bush Empire. I got a last minute phone call to say, can you come down? We'd love to have some BVs on a couple of the songs. Would you be willing to come in and do them? So I was like, absolutely yes, firstly, thanks for calling. And actually we got to talk in, um, he let me film him and I felt like I couldn't let what he said go to waste. So check out what I spoke to him about when we met up in Shepherd's Bush Empire. So I'm at the Shepherd's Bush Empire and fate would have it that when I went to Australia, I met a beautiful man sitting at the uh, canteen. Yeah, we, were, yeah, yeah. We, were in, um, we were at the catering tent and we got talking and from the Mountain Goats. If you haven't heard of the Mountain Goats, you need to go and check out their material on Spotify, on iTunes, on YouTube, wherever you can find good music. And we got a call, a text, yeah. <laughs> to say, what are you up to? Can you please come down to our show at Shepherd's Bush Empire because we're going to do a, a stripped down show, right? Yeah, yeah, it's strip a duo, down. duo set. A uh, duo set. Normally we're a four piece, but, but there's a, Marky Smith in the fall. There you has, go. Has said, you know, it's me and your grandma banging on a garbage can. <laughs> That's not true with us. It has to be me plus one other of the band, but it's the same essential concept. <laughs> so we're in um, Shepherd's Bush Empire, and so we're just going to do a couple of BBs on two tracks. And how's it been going? It's a good tour. It's uh, when you tour as a duo, the bigger your organization, the more people there are who can get unhappy. Right, and so, exactly. And it's, that's, that's life and it's fine. But these smaller tours, although if it's a long two-person tour, and then you stop getting along, that can be pretty torture. <laughs> so the advantage to a big organization is like the people who are getting along can go over here. Right. But when it's, when it's just four of us in the van, me, Matt, Brandon, the tour manager, and, uh, and sound guy and yeah. producer, and then Skyler, the opening act, it's a party. We're having fun. Right. We're taking Life's berries. easy. And it's a short tour. Although right. we've been on tour all year, it's been a grinding year for us. <laughs> it has, because I had a book come out in February and an okay. album come out in May. So you're working really so, hard. Yeah, you know, I did two book tours and then we did an Australian tour. Yes, and of course. we came right back and hit it right, get right back out. We did three weeks with uh, Jason Isbell doing an opening slot mm -hmm. in a bus, which was... It was cool, but we're not used to opening slots. Right. We're used to, you know me. Headliners. You're a headliner. Well, that's the thing. When I start talking, generally speaking, I talk until I feel done. <laughs> yeah, right. When you are the opening act, your you job is stop. to play your music and then tell them thank you when they clap. And you can tell a story or two, but you better rehearse it a little bit and narrow it down. It's right. just let your mind go. <laughs> <laughs> Having recently come off tour myself, I felt like some of the things that he said were absolute gold, uh, nuggets of wisdom that I couldn't have phrased better myself. Uh, he's a comedian, he's obviously an artist, he is a writer um, and a musician, so he does so many things. He's based in the States, I think North Carolina is where he's from, and um, I mean, the fact that he's saying some of the same things that I have said in the past, or haven't said, but do you think about, is a testament to, to, to say that this music game is kind of similar no, no matter where you are in the world. Absolute pleasure to be in the same room as you again. Uh, Australia, likewise. London. Amazing. He's, saying, he's, saying he's invited me to North Carolina. Secretly, yeah, he's invited me. He hasn't actually invited me, but I'm secretly making a beeline oh, for it's gonna be great. North Carolina wow. so we can be on everyone's turf. Yeah, yeah. No, it would be super. You should do it. You yeah. should do it. North Carolina is a magic place. I want everybody always to see my town in Durham. Durham is magic. Funny enough, I worked for a lady called Jocelyn Brown. She's from North Carolina. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wait, for Jocelyn Brown? Jocelyn Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's from North Carolina. Yeah, totally. North Carolina is musically... The history of North Carolina music is, is remarkable. Same. I mean, Coltrane was born yes. there. Yeah. Although he, he left as soon as he could. <laughs> but I think Monk and possibly Mingus are also both All from, from there. All from North Carolina. Um, who else? Uh, a number of good soul singers are from there, but also, um, you know, Doc Watson, a yes. musician, is from there. And, uh, and Rhiannon Geddens uh, from the from, Carolina Chocolate right, Coast, right. who just got a MacArthur Genius Grant today. Uh, and we ah. met, speaking of these musical connections, so the album that I'll be remembered for, if I'm remembered, was a record we made in 2005 that I actually started writing in, uh, uh, on a tour that, that ended at, at uh, Made of L4. Okay, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Right, working on these songs. And we went to track it uh, on the plane back. There was a woman who looked like a musician, and I'm me, and I went up straight to the conversation. Trip, yeah. And where are you going? I'm going to Durham. My name's Rhiannon. I play with the Caroline Shockley Drops. And, 
and uh, we were both fairly small acts, and then the next time we didn't really hang, the next time I saw her was when we were sharing a bill at Carnegie Hall. Oh my <laughs> so god! Like one of these tribute bills where everybody sure. plays one song by somebody, so super proud. She's, uh, she's I mean, the MacArthur Genius Grant is a real thing. She's incredibly it's talented, insane. she's just a so to hear someone confirm some of the things that I have felt or said in the past was actually quite reassuring. Um, and, and he's a little bit older, and I don't know how, exactly how old he is, but he is older. So for him to be saying that having experienced touring for a number of years, and he used to be a nurse, which makes it even more relevant to me because obviously I used to work in healthcare. So for him to tell his journey, talk about his journey from moving from working in the healthcare system in the States and then obviously becoming an artist full time and his transition, um, it was quite interesting to hear it from someone else, but it's a similar story to my own. So it was great talking to him. Guys, make sure you go and check out the Mountain Goats. They are on Spotify, iTunes. I'm assuming anywhere you can yeah, purchase downloadable well, music and you will love it. Or you can buy hard copies. We're, we're can you believe it? They've got the old school, they've got hard copies. We, have, we do vinyl on every issue. Oh, we, wow. We, we care of vinyl. We yes. Have, uh, in the last album, Beat the Champ, we did, uh, had a dub B-side, you know. How okay. Old, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The normal one on the A-side and version. The, on the B-side, side. yeah, yeah. So we had a, a dub version of a song called Blood Capsules that we called Dub Capsules. It was really <laughs> So check it out. I mean, vinyl is, is insane. Like, it's making a comeback. Oh, it's 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 huge now. You actually have to book your... Uh, you actually have to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You actually have to book your uh, your vinyl person, like really carefully, or it'll delay your release. Right, the right, right, right. Backed up around the way. They've actually built new ones last For vinyl. year. Which wow. Is wild, so. It's all about vinyl right now. It really is. It's it really a, is. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. So. And I love vinyl, so make sure you go and check them out. Thanks, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Hope you got some pearls of wisdom somehow. Use the hashtag the in thing meets to let us know what you've been up to, if you've heard any pearls of wisdom from other people along your travels. And we would love for you to stay in touch with us. So we're on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, The Works. Hit that subscribe button below to stay up to date with all our videos. We love to hear from you. And all that remains for me to say is, 